In a garage in Portugal is a collection of cars that may be unique in the world. Joaquim Costas likes classic cars with one thing in common. They're all Fords. It's rare to see a 1965 Mark I Cortina like this, lovingly maintained in perfect condition. But Joaquim, a former Ford employee, has devoted his life to collecting a range of the cars ancient and modern. Not only did he prepare this stunning white Mustang for delivery in 1967, he also serviced it, right up until actually buying the legendary muscle car from its lifelong owner. I started to interest me in cars, clássicos, ainda eh, ou por outra. Eh, este, este, eh, este querer eh, por carros clássicos eh, já vem de uma falecida pai. The collection is diverse as it is rare, featuring a 1950 Ford Anglia and a Mark I Escort. Com, com o relar dos tempos, eh, fui arranjando um carro hoje um carro lá amanhã, e isto já lá vai há 30 e não sei quantos anos. At the top level of his spectacular garage complex sit the veterans of the collection. The Model T was Henry Ford's vision of the universal car, a low-cost, reliable vehicle that could take anything the rough roads of the era could throw at it. Its 20 horsepower engine can reach speeds of around 40 miles or 70 kilometers per hour. Joaquim's Model T was built at Ford's Walkerville factory in Canada sometime in 1915, and a car this old differs from today's cars in significant ways. There's no petrol gauge for a start, you check your fuel levels with a stick. And the daytime running lights are lit by hand. Despite the complicated starting procedure, Joaquim drives his Model T regularly and takes it to rallies where he can cover up to 300 kilometers in a single day. Joaquim shocked local Ford garage workers recently by taking the 98-year-old car to the dealership for a service. But they've honored their pledge to give any Ford car they service free roadside assistance for a year. And in what is a testament to the Model T's enduring reliability, he hasn't had to call out roadside assistance yet.